Hi everyone, welcome to my introduction to sound design and the audio gear needed to deliver said design. I'm Scott Parker from Stage Seminars and I've been in theater for a long time. What is our job as sound designers? Everyone from the designer on down is involved with creating the environment in which the event takes place. The designer designs, the crew executes, and together we create a symbiotic relationship to get the show uh, to the audience. And our job is to support the work of the production. So let's talk about what a design is. Let's look at this next slide. And I want to be quiet for a moment and let you listen. We want to transport our audience to where we want them to think they're sitting. What does this sound like? Well, this image doesn't work at all, does it? Does this sound like this image? We're presenting a visual image on stage between the other designers, and sound designers need to also bring that image to light. What weight should we be giving to the soundscape? Let's change the sound for a second. What are we here now? When I look at this picture, it reminds me of when I used to teach scuba diving. I would take divers down to Caribbean locations that were very similar to this. And being on, in these huts over the water, I would hear water uh, lapping underneath the hut, just like we hear in the sound design that I'm playing now. This probably works better, doesn't it? Now, as we move forward, we're going to discuss how we have different kinds of sound designers. Now, I'm primarily the first type here. I'm a sound designer for musicals. Um, with many crossovers and, ex and many exceptions, sound designers are often clumped into these two camps. Sound designers for musicals might be wrangling dozens of microphones on performers and a completely separate set of microphones for the orchestra. In addition to that, they may, will have several sounds, such as effects, to be delivered via recorded playback devices. Could be doorbells, could be fire trucks, you know, things the orchestra doesn't play. Sound designers for straight plays, on the other hand, are many times also composers, as they may supply original music to underscore the dramatic piece or emphasize, you know, comedy moments. Those that are not composers will often use their vast knowledge of current recorded music or even past recorded music to add a tone for the show in their underscoring. And of course, we're all going to be dealing with those sound effects. <laughs> 